for this matter. In fact, there is one tendency which I am now realizing that people have left this country to the politicians. Politicians cannot make even one percent of Ugandans. Eh? We don't make a percentage of one in Uganda. But matters affecting, I mean, out of our inconsistencies, are affecting the entire 40 what, million Ugandans. That is one. Then two, when we talk about a country, we are talking about politicians, government, and civil society organizations. I hope you are aware that you belong to the fourth estate. I mean, you belong to two institutions as media people. You belong to the fourth estate, which is independent of the three, to check on the excesses of the judiciary, to check on the excesses of the executive, headed by president, to check on the excesses of parliament. parliament. Now you are the fourth estate. Independently checking on the three. Can you imagine? You check on even the chief justice. But besides that, there is another provision in governance, which is uh, the state here, the government, uh, had a place person here who is governed, and the space which must be occupied by what we call civil society organization. Now, the importance of the media is uh, twofold. One, you belong to the fourth estate. Two, you belong to the civil society organization because you must act as a link between the powerless and the powerful. You get my point? But in most cases, you want to say what the government has said and you call that news. Never. That's not your role. Whenever, okay, there is this business of balancing that you will get someone beaten by the LODU and then you give us the version of the command of the LDU and the story ends. Okay, you have tried. 20%. But what I'm saying, <laughs> as, as a civil society organization, let me tell you, all countries which have developed are using strong civil society organization. It's neither government or individuals who are powerless, but the strong civil society. Go to Zambia, after the Kaunda, there was Chiruba. Chiruba was a trade unionist, although he messed up uh, uh, later on, but he, he played a part in Zimbabwe. It's the civil society organization including religious leaders. It's only that later on, Mugabe became a problem. But the list is endless. That where you see progress in countries, there is a very strong civil society. And journalists are happy. I mean, you are, you are privileged to belong to two strong institutions. One, the civil society organization, to act as a link between the powerless individual and the powerful monster called the government. Because if I go now and direct my DPC in watch so that please go and arrest that group which has said, he will not ask for the reasons. He will have to arrest you by virtue of my position. Okay? He will come and disperse the good. Now, if you are too powerless and I'm too powerful, who is there to check or to balance between the two, the powerless and the powerful? It's the journalist as a fourth estate. And the journalist as a civil society organization. So I would call you, I would encourage you to, to give us news behind news. How about the COVID? How about the food they say they distributed? How about the new cars they were saying? The president insisted he wanted only new pickups. He never wanted used ones. And the targeted district were to Kampala and Wachiso. And of course, most of the victims of COVID were coming from Wachiso. In Wachiso, we did not receive even a pig, I mean a wheelbarrow for that matter. We have never received anything, but we saw cars being surrendered to the COVID task, whatever. Eh? So I've not seen any story from a journalist. You are waiting for press conferences, either at Katonga or Najanangumi, City House. When I call you, you'll come and you give the story as I've told you. So members, I'm calling upon, in fact, journalists, let me tell you one thing. We said you entertain, you inform, hmm? you educate. Equally, you are artists. Look at now what is happening in the field of artists, the, the musicians. They have covered the space. Eh? Uh, do you realize that? Now artists are coming up and they are giving strong messages because they are, actually the role of artists is the same as the media. Hmm? They educate, they entertain, they inform. Eh? Now they have covered the space. They have taken up the vacuum. You will find that it's only artists who are standing up for positions of leadership. You get that? 
just because they are using their tool effectively and perfectly. It is only the journalists who are failing. Members, where are you? <laughs> there is that now one. Where are you? Eh? Where are you? As an association, what have you done? Because let me tell you, I realized when I was doing the, my program at Dembe at CBS that I was only lamenting. Hey, you see, man, you're dead, your people are doing this. But now, you know, you're going to be able to do this. No. And you members, you should always engage me because I'm representing you. In fact, I need a call and I need a call. I need other journalists to come up. And you know, it's like this. Boba wa kuziwa, ngati wakula bukuzi. Always or always a job. The moment I mess up things now, but because I tell you, Namauli, I'm not going to call it. And I'm here proud that you can abuse me, but you will not find me in fraudulent actions just because I wanted to keep that name of Jan.